If you're looking for a simple system to help organize your work, time, and life in a way where you complete all of your tasks and obligations while still maintaining a balanced and fluid schedule with plenty of time built in for self-care, relaxation, and creativity, then this is the video for you. I am about to peel back the curtain and share with you my system, my well-oiled machine. So grab a pen and a notepad and let's get started. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. There's a couple of reasons why having a system for time management is important. The first is that it saves you a tremendous amount of mental energy in your day-to-day decision-making. And this is precisely why Steve Jobs had a uniform that he would wear every day, a black turtleneck with jeans, because it was one less decision he had to make every day. Curating a system in advance and setting it into motion allows you to know exactly what you need to be doing at any given time. Moreover, because I've been using the system for several years at this point, I have passively generated an accurate and detailed record of my day-to-day -day life. Everything, and I mean everything, gets recorded in this. And finally, it's designed to achieve work-life balance. By establishing a frame of our week and visualizing Visualizing the negative space as our free time, we can add and remove activities that we are trying to cultivate in our life. Moving on, you will need four tools. The first is a physical planner. You have to find a planner that resonates with you. A couple of years ago, I went on a journey to find my forever planner. So many planners are made with cheesy colors and fonts and quotes, and I just didn't like any of that. So I came across a small family-owned leather shop. There products are timeless and elegant, exactly what I was looking for. Another consideration you might want to make when selecting your planner is whether you like the daily or the weekly format. The daily format breaks down the day by the hour, whereas the weekly format shows you all seven days of the week with open space for the timing of everything. I prefer the weekly format because I like to build spontaneity into my day. It doesn't matter to me so much when I accomplish something, it matters to me that I accomplish it on the day that it was scheduled to be completed. But overall, it's really satisfying having a physical planner to touch and hold and carry around with you, writing things with my hands and scribbling notes in the margins and crossing things off when I'm done with them and embellishing pages with post-it notes. It's all just really satisfying to me. Second, you're going to need a pen for the job. I personally prefer using four colored pens. Third, you will also want to use a digital planner as well, while a physical planner allows me to visualize my workload in a written format. The digital planner allows me to visualize my workload in a color blocked format, which is extremely useful for scheduling. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. And finally, you'll want some basic post-it notes. Now that we have our tools in place, let's start scheduling. The goal of this channel and philosophy is to live well, right? to live a full and rich life, a balanced life. Such a life is not the result of mere chance or spontaneity, but rather it is the result of foresight, of planning and intention. It's best to reserve one day of the week where you sit down and you schedule. For me, this is Sunday morning become a ritual to make some coffee, sit down at my desk to reflect on the week that has passed and to plan for the week ahead. So in our scheduling, we are going to build out the frame of our week. In other words, our reoccurring events. These typically include our work or school responsibilities, places that we have to be in order to get our paycheck or our degree. For example, on Mondays and Tuesdays, I have intellectual property from 9.30 to 10.45 and professional ethics from 1.30 to 2.45. On the same time slots on Thursdays and Fridays, I have international law and business entities. These are my classes. Next, I'm going to schedule my meetings. Every Tuesday evening, I meet with my moot court team, and every Thursday, I meet with my team for my United Nations internship. For the moot court meeting, I'm in charge of booking the room, so I'll have to make a note of that on Fridays. 
Next, I want to schedule time for my homework and due dates. Now would be a good time to import all of these reoccurring events into your digital calendar so you can start to visualize your workload in a color-coded format. This creates the frame of your week, which you will build everything else upon. The negative space is your free time, and we will work with that in just a moment. Next, we want to schedule our health tasks. These are body-related activities that need to be completed on daily, weekly, or monthly occasions in order to keep you alive, clean, and healthy. This includes Includes hygienic routines, doctor's appointments, annual checkups, and I guess I'll take this moment to introduce you to Sacred Saturdays. Sacred Saturdays are arguably the most important day of the week for me. I leave Saturdays completely open and fluid to take care of my life, beauty, and health needs, to rest, reset, and to reorient, to deep clean my room, do my laundry, organize my email inbox, and check up on my financial accounts. And that is exactly what I'll be doing on Saturday. Saturday. I'm going to schedule an eye doctor appointment on Wednesday and I think Saturday will be a good day to get a beauty appointment in, like a haircut. I've made a personal fitness goal to run three times a week. I'm going to schedule them on my days off from school one on Wednesday, one on Saturday, and one on Sunday. The third category that we want to schedule is our maintenance category. These are errands, chores, or mundane tasks that need to be completed on a weekly or regular basis. I need to drop a package off at the post office, and I need to pick up a few items from Target. The fourth major category that you want to make time for is your social life. Now I've made a video on the importance of friendship, and you can find that here. Let's take a moment to intentionally schedule some social time. A great way to stay social and involved at university is to peruse the events calendar. Here I will find lunch meetings, special lectures, movie nights, career fairs, club meetings, and I will add them to my calendar. So Tuesday at lunch, I'm going to attend an environmental law meeting, and Thursday at lunch, I'm going to attend an immigration law meeting. I also want to schedule some time to connect. I'm going to make an appointment to chat with the dean of the law school on Monday Day at lunchtime and I'm going to call my friend who lives in Canada on my commute home. On Friday night, I'm going to invite my friends to get dinner and drinks. The next big category that we want to schedule is our hobbies. These are things that we do for personal, intellectual, and creative edification. Currently, my number one hobby is YouTube. So I will try to film on Wednesday this week, edit on Saturday, and then post the video by Sunday. So our week is starting to shape up now. Let's zoom out and look at our monthly calendar. On the first of every month, I give my dogs their heartworm medication. And on the 15th of every month, I have my bills set on auto pay. On the 20th of this month, I'm attending my high school reunion. And on the 30th, I have a moot court competition. Now that we have our main system in place, let's look into some secondary systems we can use to complement the primary system. So as I start looking at my journal and certain days and times start to look really crowded, using post-it notes is a great way to get precise on the schedule for that day. And in the back of my planner, I have a master list of major yearly events like my travels and milestone events for the year. And I have a separate journal where I keep track of one year, five year, and 10 year goals. But that's the subject of another video. There are also two cardinal rules for planning. The first is it has to be accurate and reliable. Second, there are gonna be days where you don't get to everything that you scheduled for that day. Maybe you're not feeling well, maybe something came up. Unfinished tasks must be rescheduled. I'll circle the task that I didn't finish and I will draw an arrow and move it to another day or I'll cross it out and move it to another week. I will probably make a future video on self-care rituals that we want to incorporate daily, weekly, and monthly. And if you've gone this far and you saw my community post about the DND alignment chart, I'm a neutral good. What are you? Leave a comment. And I think that's all for today. As always, thank you so much for being here. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel for more philosophy. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.